Hello guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today we have this ugly looking Land Rover. Well, it's not ugly. I think it's actually beautiful, especially when I finish customizing it. It's Land Rover Discovery 2018 model. And today I'm gonna to customize this car and show you the Barakzai version of it. So the first Land Rover Discovery was built in 1989 and it was built to take on the cars like Nissan Patrol and Toyota Land Cruiser. This is a seven seat luxury SUV. Some would say, it's an awkward looking car. But I quite like it. Well, I love all Land Rover and Range Rovers, right? Of course I would. That's a car I specialize in. But anyway, let's go around the car and show you what we're gonna be doing to it. So we're gonna have the Baragzai front bumper on there. We're gonna have the gloss black grille. We're gonna put the 22 inch gloss black Dawn alloy wheels. And you see all these plastics on here? All these boring plastic pieces that go around the arches and down to the bottom of the doors will be all color coded to the vehicle. And the rear of the car will have the Baragzai rear bumper and the tow bar will be taken off, which will obviously will be removable and you can add it back on when required. So the tow bar will be usable. And uh, we'll have the roof spoiler on top as well with all the Baragzai branding and uh, finish it off with a little bit of, uh, well, you have to wait till the end and see how it looks. But anyway, let's get this car into the workshop and get it Baragzai. I think we've got a leak. No, we haven't. It's Johnny the jet wash pipes. It's the screen wash just getting drained out. So just a quick update on the Discovery 5 in the workshop. Uh, bumpers are all stripped off. This is building up the, uh, the front bumper body kit. The wheel arches have been all color coordinated as well. Daddy's painted them all. As you can see, if you remember, the side door moldings were plastic and now they've been color coordinated to the car. And uh, we painted the side vents as well. So they've been painted gloss black. They were satin grey previously. We've got the 22 inch Dawn alloy wheels on in gloss black. Not sure if I'm gonna leave them on or I'm gonna put on the sabers, but uh, we'll see once the car's complete. We've got Luke, he's customizing the exhaust. It's got a quad exhaust system on this uh, body kit. And uh, as I said, it's just a quick update on what's going on so far. And for now, I'm just gonna remove all these badges. Oops. Because now, it's a bad eye. So it's the back bumper. It's been uh, all sprayed. Uh, all the sensors have been fitted in as well. All the winding loom has been fitted to the new bumper. So you can see all the mesh, we painted it all gloss black. On this one, I've painted the exhaust gloss black. Uh, I'm gonna just black the whole car out uh, on this Discoverer. I think it's a nice feature on black cars if you just totally murder it out. Uh, that's the term that they use for when you just like totally black a car out. So yeah, so we're just gonna put this Back bumper, we're just going to modify the original exhaust and then we're going to fit the rear bumper and uh, I'm looking forward to getting this one finished. So it's time for Dr. Nav to give you another tip on how to repair your car and do a DIY project. So if you remember last time, I gave you a little tip on how to remove a scratch from your vehicle using fine sandpaper and a buffing machine. There may be times where your car's parked up and you're not in your vehicle and somebody slyly reverses into your back bumper and damages it and drives off and causes a little dent. Or maybe your mind might be a little bit cloudy and you're not focusing and you hit into a bollard or a wall. You cause a little damage on your front or rear bumper just like this. We all have to admit once in a while we've all done this. Now, there's two ways of repairing this. One, you can bring it to a body shop like myself and we can repair it for you. But you might have a big bill. Other option is do a DIY project and save some money. And that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you today. So to start off, what do you need to repair this? So you need a heat gun. No guys, it's not a hairdryer. This is a heat gun and it gets extremely, extremely hot. You can buy a cheap one of these for about 20 pound, but they can go up to about 150 pound, but you won't be needing that. So you get a cheap heat gun. You need a polishing cloth and some compound. 
and some 2000 fine sanding paper. So to start off, what we're gonna do, here's the dent as you can see. This customer has driven into a bollard and he's caused this dent in this bumper right in this corner. So what you need to do is get the heat going on, make sure it gets to a temperature and then you're gonna just focus on the area that's been dented. But this is plastic. As you know, plastic, if you heat plastic, it can come back into its original form. So as you can see, slowly I'm heating it up. I don't, I'm not putting direct heat on it because I can damage the paintwork. And we will try to avoid damaging the paintwork because we don't want to paint it, right? So as you can see, I'm just focusing on the outer area and I'm going to start focusing in the middle. As you can see, if you get a little bit closer, it's coming back to its original shape. Can you see? If you look at an angle from here, you probably notice that it's coming back to its original form again. All by using this heat gun. And remember, do not keep it at any one point like this, pointing, pointing at the bumper direct because it will deform all the plastic, cause a burn and definitely damage the paintwork. Then you're going to be out of pocket. So there you go, as you can see, I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna let that cool down a little bit. No, I'll need more than that. So I'm gonna just get some, a little bit of cold water to cool it down. So a little bit of cold water to cool it down. Dab it on there. Okay, so that'll be a little bit cooler. So now we're left with the scratches. How do we remove the scratches? Uh oh, we have to paint them. No, we don't. Remember the last time when we had a scratch in the door and I taught you how to remove the scratch? It's the same process as removing this scuff on this bumper. Be it a scratch, be it a scuff. So you get some very fine 2000 wet and dry sandpaper and then uh, get a little bit of water on there. Just rub this down a little bit. Okay, I think I'm doing enough there. I don't want to go too much. Just wipe all the excess water off there. And then obviously it's all matted off because of the flattening I've done. So now what we've got to do is bring the gloss back up on the paint. And what we're going to use now, as I showed you before, we use some, uh, I use some G3 for regular liquid compound. It's like a cutting paste, so it cuts your paint and then uh, brings, gives it that gloss finish. So you can use the buffing machine as well, but if you don't have one, you can use a cloth. But you've got to make sure you've got plenty of elbow grease. So here we go. So just keep polishing that so it, you're cutting the compound into the paintwork and then you're bringing that gloss finish back up. You've got to keep rubbing, so you've got to use your hand like it's a buffing machine. There you go, guys. I'm happy with that. Check it out. So you've seen it before. There was a big dent in the corner of the bumper. And now we're just doing a little DIY project. And we've repaired the bumper and brought it back to almost its original form. I mean, if you get some uh, binoculars on there and you're a bit of a perfectionist like me, there are very, very minor marks in there. But if I continued flattening it down and polishing it, I would have got rid of them. This is just a quick tip uh, for you guys to do a DIY project uh, and to save money. This job would have cost roughly between two to 300 pounds. Well, I saved you all that money. I hope this was a great tip for you. When you're doing DIY projects, be very careful when you're using these machines. It's about saving money, and that's what I've helped you do today. Might be out of pocket, as long as it benefits you guys, that's what matters. Well, that's another tip from Dr. Khan. Let's crack on with the discovery. So here you have it guys, the Discovery 5 Baragzai. It's all been customized, as you can see. It's had a little transformation, nothing major, but these little major transformation make the car look a lot more better and a lot more aggressive, of course. So this is our styling pack for the Discovery 5. It's got the front bumper with the satin trims on there so we can change the color of them trims according to your own specification. Uh, we've also incorporated our front grille on there with obviously the Baragzai branding going on the bonnet, of course. 
I was going to put the 22 inch Sabre, I decided to put the 22 inch Gloss Black Dawns on. But all our Baragzai wheels fit on the Discovery models, so uh, you've got an option of all the different Baragzai wheels to go on here. We've colour coordinated all the wheel arches, the side vents, the lower door mouldings, the door mirrors. So basically, we've just done a full black pack on there. Uh, coming down the car, as you can see, it's got the rear bumper with a back diffuser on there. You've got the option of leaving the exhaust chrome, or you can paint them gloss black, or even satin black. If you've got a basic Discovery 5, are you going to put the Barak Zai kit on it? It's available now to supply and fit. So give us a call and we'll hook you guys up. But anyway, this car is going to the Newcastle showroom and will be up for sale. So if you're going to grab yourself a good deal and a bespoke Discovery 5, head over to our Newcastle showroom and grab yourself a good car. Anyway, coming around over here, we've got this Range Rover Vogue going up there as well, which is for sale. It's got the uh, Barak Zai star body kit on there. We haven't put the wheels on there just yet. When it gets to the showroom, we'll change the alloy wheels. Or sometimes we like to leave the car how it is and let the customer change choose the alloy wheels that they want to put on. We've got the Range Rover Sport. So this is one of our most popular cars that we customize and sell. Uh, Range Rover Sport models, uh, starting from 2014 to 2021 models. So these cars are heading over to our Barakzai Signature Vehicle showroom in Newcastle. So if you guys want to grab yourself a great car, good deal, make sure you can visit our website and check some good deals out as well. Or if you've got a basic car and you want to customize it, head over to Encarns or give us a call and we'll customize it. We can customize anything for you guys. Interior, exterior, we can do vinyl wrap, color change, alloy wheels, exhaust system, in-car entertainment. Our limit is your imagination. So whatever you want to customize, bring it down to us. And thank you for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe, comment and like and share all our videos. And thank you for all the love that you've been giving us. We appreciate all the great comments and all the support. So hope you guys have a great weekend. Hasta la vista. Thank mm -hmm. you.